Hey there, Salim Omar here, and I uh, wanted to do this Facebook Live 12 noon today. Uh, many practitioners that I've talked to have shared with me that they want to make 2021 their best year ever. You know, they want it to be successful. They want it to be different than how it's been in the past. And so today I want to share with you five strategies for success this year. Now, even if your practice did not grow in 2020 or 2019 in prior years, or you've plateaued or you've hit an obstacle or two, and you just can't seem to get out of it, what I'm going to share with you is going to be practical. It is going to be things you can put into action right away. So let's, uh, let's dive right in. Um, first thing is you want to know where your practice is now. In other words, let's create a baseline. Uh, where are you at in terms of clients? Um, the quality of the clients that you're attracting, the type of, you know, the number of clients that you're, you're, you're bringing in, not only the quality, but also the number of clients you're attracting per month. Uh, what type of services are you signing them up for? So let's create an understanding as a baseline on your clients. Um, how are things working now in your practice? And be open and honest about it. Um, and just kind of look at it for what it is, right? So number one's clients. Uh, second thing you want to know where you know in terms of where you are now in your practice is your team. Uh, give a score one to ten. Ten meaning they're amazing. They're all in. They're engaged. One to ten. When you look at your you know team, what's the overall score that you would give them as things stand now? The third thing is uh, systems, right? Uh, how streamlined is your operation in terms of documented processes, workflow, uh, bottlenecks, you know, uh, the number of bottlenecks, the level of efficiencies you have in your current in your current system. What's your profit? You know, how much time is being spent and what's the profitability there? So that's the first thing. You know, in terms of five strategies, that's strategy number one is know where you are in now. So we know what you've got to work with, right? Create that ba baseline. Second thing is become clear about where you want to go, right? What does that look like? What's that end picture look like 12 months from now? Where do you want to, and it's, you know, it's along the lines of what Dr. Stephen Covey says in The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. One of his principles is begin with the end in mind. Right, so we start off this journey in 2021 with that, uh, with understanding where you're at now, and then where do you want to go? What does that look like a year from now in terms of clients, the the quality of the clients you want to be attracting, the number of clients, the growth rate you want to bring in two clients, four clients, five clients a month, each and every month, and what fees. So that's one. Second thing with your team, what kind of a culture do you want to have in your office? Do you want it to be fast paced and collaborative and amazing human beings that are, you know, on your on your team that are engaged and all in and, uh, you know, you know, with the with the mindset on, you know, the ownership mindset uh, type of thinking. Uh, so where are you going to be in terms of your team? And then the third area that you're look, looking at is your streamline operation systems, right? And as you can see, I'm doing the three things. It's the genius model, the three pillars, the three legs uh, of, of a practice. Uh, so systems have a clear understanding of where are you at in terms of having a streamline operation a year, a year from now. Now, as you're becoming clear about where you want to go, and you've got that on paper, you want to make sure that you are doing it along the lines of using the acronym SMART, right? Uh, SMART meaning make sure that that end result in terms of clients and your team and so forth, it's uh, specific, it's measurable, it's attainable, it's realistic, and there's a timeline to it, right? So we are, you know, and, and we've got the timeline, it's 12 months from now. And, you know, in terms of being specific and measurable and attainable, you want to, you know, kind of have all that. Uh, you want to you want to run the, the SMART acronym through those so that you're not 
you know, one of the things that I see a lot of practice owners, you know, miss out on is they'll set unrealistic goals. Uh, you know, they want to go from X number of, say, you know, 25 clients and they want to, you know, get to 100 good quality business clients in one year. That is more unrealistic. Going from 25 to 50 or 60 is more realistic, right? So look at it from that standpoint. So that's, uh, you know, number two is become clear about where you want to, where you want to be. And then the third thing, strategy number three, in terms of having a banner 2021 is identify the the obstacles and the challenges that are going to get in your way. What's going to get in your way? If you know what those are, you can find a way to work around them, right? Just because you want to go from 25 to 50 quality clients by the end of the year, great goal, realistic, specific and all that. But uh, you want to know, hey, what's going to get in my way? And some of the things that can get in someone's way is, hey, I don't know how to. Like, you know, I don't have the know-how, the skill level, because once we know that, we can you can go and get it, right? Uh, or you may say, you know what, I don't have the time. You know, I'm already busy. I'm already working 40, 50, 60 hours. How am I going to find the time? If, you're, if you can address that and be truthful and honest about that, then you can find a work around it, right? So step number three is identify the obstacles and the challenges that are going to get in your way so that you can find a workaround. You can find a way to get around those obstacles and those challenges. All right, step four is create a game plan, right? And a game plan is um, a work plan. How are you going to go from 25 to 50 clients? I'll give you some examples. You may say, you know what? My website, my current website, it needs to be revamped with a clearer message. I want to, you know, I want to identify my, I want to call out my, uh, my client avatar, the right, you know, my prospect in a, in a, in a, in a bigger way, in a better way. So you may say that and you, you may say, you know what, I want to reword my web website. The messaging is not cl clear about what differentiates my firm from everyone else. So, you know, so it could be going from 25 to 50 clients, you may say, I want to revamp my website. You could say, you know what? I want to build my authority. I want to start a new YouTube channel and I want to create fresh new video content uh, every week or what, I, what have you. You may say, uh, I want to identify and join a networking group uh, that I'm going to be active in. Uh, or you may say, I, am, I want to nurture my client and prospect list with one email a week that is going to be personalized and that will speak to them. So I'm giving you some examples of what, uh, you know, what creating a game plan looks like in step four. Now, each of these things that I say, creating, revamping the website, building authority, and that's a project, right? Within a project, you've got sub projects or steps, mini steps within it. And so that's how you want to achieve, you know, how that's how you're going to be able to uh, implement it and get it done. Revamping a website is a bigger project. Uh, it won't happen in one sitting, but if you can break it down, chunk it down to smaller pieces, then you can start um, start working those smaller pieces and start really seeing implementation, execution, and results. So that was step four. And this, the fifth step, the final step, for this year, as we begin a brand new year, is set yourself up for success. You don't want to approach your practice the way you've approached it in previous years. There's got to be a radical shift in how you're going to approach it. If you want radical results, results that are significantly different than the prior year, you've got to approach your practice in a radically different way. And so I'll give you some examples here what, what I mean by that. Number one, uh, become regimental with the number of hours you're going to work and how you're going to do the technical work. Limit yourself. If you're working 50 hour weeks during tax season, you know, set a, set a bar of how many hours you're gonna work in your practice. 
doing the technical work because that is going to help you spend time and energy and attention to working on your practice so that come April uh, 15th, uh, come end of April, you're not exhausted and tired and you're like, all right, where did I leave things off at, right? You would have been working it and not lost that momentum. And this is like one of the biggest problems in the industry is practitioners forget about working on their practice during tax season. They come back to it in May, tired, exhausted, and like you've lost half the year, man. By the time you get back into, you know, really, I mean, you know, into, into, into it again, you've lost half a year and you're really then working with one hand or both hands tied behind your back, right? So create, set yourself up for success. Limit the number of hours that you do the technical work so that you've got time to do the, you know, the working on it. Uh, change the environment, uh, change your own, you know, create a success environment in terms of your surroundings. Freshen up your surroundings with, uh, with inspirational stuff, things that are going to be good reminders for you. Uh, put them all, put them around your, your monitor, <laughs> on your wall. Um, things that are, you know, that are going to inspire you, things that are going to remind you about your goals. Get your goals down, put your game plan on, on that. Um, part of creating a success environment is the type of people that you're going to hang around with. You know, connect with like-minded folks. Uh, join a peer group, a coaching group, a mentorship group where you've got other like-minded people that are, you know, in the similar journey, they're, they're open-minded, they're growth-minded, and they're going to inspire you, they're going to push you in, in a good way to, to, to get more. You'll see their successes, you'll see their challenges, you'll know you're not alone in this, and together, you know, everyone, everyone, everyone grow, grows, right? So associate with the right type of people. Uh, become clear about what, what you're going to tolerate and what you're not from your team members. What are you going to tolerate from your team members? What are you going to tolerate from clients? Maybe there are some clients you need to let go. Uh, maybe there are some employees where you need to have that meeting. You know, you need to you know confront them and have a meeting with them and say, hey, this is how we want to do things going forward. So it's really stepping up your own leadership, right? Stepping up your, your own leadership is that. So step five in having a banner year is setting yourself up for success with the, you know, in terms of the number of hours you work, the type of work you do, the working on it, uh, your own success environment, changing, changing that around, um, the type of people you associate with and, and so forth. All right. Hope you found this useful. Uh, got a number of you guys watching and all that. So that's amazing. Good stuff. Uh, uh, I'm excited. This is a brand new year. Uh, you know, 2020 had its challenges. We all know that. But we've got to look now forward and we've got to start getting our head and mind and energy and attention, you know, in terms of looking forward at opportunities and um, and um, and really, uh, you know, be you know, getting ready to enjoy success. And you will do that through the five steps that I shared with you very quickly. Know where you're at now. Number one. Number two is become clear about where you want to go. Uh, what, what that end game is in a year. Number three is identify the obstacles, the challenges that are going to get in the way so they don't, you're not caught off guard. You have a, you're pre preparing a work around it. Uh, number four is put the game plan together, create a game plan of how you're going to, you know, what are the things, specific things you're going to do to, you know, to go from here to there. And then number five is setting yourself up for success. Hope, yeah, this was great uh, and useful for you. Um, very quickly, I'm holding uh, an event and taking practice owners next week where I'll be taking them through this planning process and doing a deeper dive. And I'll be holding their hand, helping them through this process. If that is you, would love for you to be considered. I've got a few seats open. Uh, you know, in the comment section, put the word 2021 or the letters. I guess it's the number for, for the year 2021. And uh, we'll get you the details for this coming uh, for this event. All right. Take care. Have a great weekend. 
and uh, I'll talk to you soon.